One moment she and her brother were on the beach digging in Florida. The next she was buried beneath suffocating sand. And today the parents of seven year old Sloan are sharing how their fun filled vacation turned into a nightmare. Les Trent reports. Disturbing new details are emerging about the tragic suffocation death of a seven year old girl on a Florida beach. Little Sloan Mattingly and her nine year old brother Maddox were buried when a six foot deep sand hole they were digging collapsed. An eyewitness said that as the children's parents and others made frantic efforts to save them, her father was able to grab Sloan's little hand. He came tantalizingly close to saving her, but could not pull her out in time. You can love Maddox. No, I love Dad. Sloan's brother survived and was released from the hospital. Their mother, Therese Mattingly, is speaking out today, posting a heart-wrenching message on Facebook. We experienced the purest human being and we are forever changed by her. We love you beyond any stretch of the imagination. Our sweet Sloan, what we would give. The family from Fort Wayne, Indiana, was on vacation in Lauderdale by the sea, a tiny beach resort near Fort Lauderdale. Angela Caverly and her daughter Helen experienced a similar tragedy in 2022. Helen survived a sand hole collapse on the Jersey Shore but her brother Levi was killed. This is the family's final photo. The sand can go out from underneath you too, like quicksand. Dr. Stephen Leatherman, known as Dr. Beach, is an expert on beach safety. He says an adult likely helped dig the hole. How do kids so small get down six feet like that, throw the sand out of the hole? My goodness, I don't see it. There were no lifeguards on this beach in Lauderdale by the sea, which may have been a factor in the death of Little Sloan. On other Florida beaches, lifeguards routinely warn tourists not to dig deep holes. Holes on the beach are death traps. The principal of Sloan's elementary school describes her as a sweet and loving first grader.